Nelson Mandela, Lupita Nyong'o, Otis Mutombo, Africa, Oh Barack Obama, Kwame Nkrumah, All my freedom fighters. say NGO, we mean non-governmental organization. You understand? Oh, help yourself. That means you don't belong to any government. We are on our own. We don't belong to any political party. We are doing our own thing to help the nation. So, this morning, we are spending only 20 minutes with you. Look at your time. There are still 20 minutes with you, then we call it off. We have written two books. One is The Ladder of Life. The Ladder of Life and then The Art of Nation Burden. The group has a vision that the way things are done in Ghana have to change, and even the whole Africa. But we are concentrating on Ghana now, because you know that charity begins, yes, if you are doing anything, and you don't start with your own people, that means that that thing will not succeed. And the office is based in Kaswadi. So we are still on charity begins at. We are starting from where? Uh -huh. uh -huh. Good. And very soon we will see us internationally. And we are being sponsored by Ghana Oil Company Limited. Ghana Oil Company Limited. Who have heard of that name before? Who has heard of that? What do they do? They supply and market fuel. They have supported us to come and present to you their books. But we, the organization, has a vision that by the time you, these people that are in DSS now, grow to a certain level, you have a certain mentality, a different mentality of how you handle things in Ghana. So we are targeting the first and second cycle institutions that we think if we change things from you, 10 years from now, Ghana will change. Have yourself. So we want to we want you to take a different course, different outlook of things. That's why we have written these books. The first book, the first book, looks at how you can mold your life, how you can put the mantle of life and affect your own self and also affect society. So we are not only concentrating on how Ghana can be good, how you can also change your lifestyle, and then use your lifestyle to also change somebody. Then that lifestyle will continue so that it will affect the whole society. So in 10, we have targeted 10 years. How old are you, uh, uh, lady? How old are you? Stand up and tell me. 14 years. So 10 years to come, you be. Tell me, 10 years to come, how old will you be? 24, why will you be then? Will you be at the university or where will you be? What do you think you will be? You'll be in the university. Oh, good. Half for her, half for her. So, when you come out of university, you, you begin to work. So, what you have learned from the book and whatever you have learned, you begin to impact on your work and on yourself so that you have to change society. That's why we are here. And we took uh, inspiration from a, a man called Lee Kuan Yew. 
He's from Singapore. He said that I will take 15 years to change things in Singapore. And he succeeded. Now, when you go to Singapore, you can't litter around. You can't go there, drink pure water, and just keep it anywhere. He has changed your mentality in such a way that if you are in Singapore, you know what to do. Either as a child, either as an adult, or whatever. You know how to behave yourself. And through that mentality, you have got that country to be good for all of them. Now, Ghana is so sweet. Now, when you change things in Ghana, it will be for the benefit of all of us. Don't you think so? Yes. Huh. So, that is it. That is the purpose of our coming. So, I will, I will use just 10 minutes to go through the books so that you, when you are reading, at least, you know what it is. This is about, they are about. Do you understand? Yes. Yes. Now, the first book is called The Ladder of Life. The Ladder of Life. When you say ladder, you all understand ladder? Yes. What, what can you explain ladder to me? Uh, it's, a, it's a structure that we use to climb. This is a ladder. It's a, a concrete ladder that we use to climb up or down. We, we have Uniqueness of this life. Uniqueness of this life. This le that lady is different from this lady. Now, there are two people who are influencing the world today. Who can tell me that two people who have come and lived a life on earth and they have the largest followers today? Who can tell me? Mm -hmm. Who? Oh no, now people have lived on it. They became human beings. Yes. Who? who? Jesus and God. Clap for her, clap for her. <laughs> they started like you. When they were young like you, they, when they were young like you, apart from Jesus, Jesus knew that he was someone who had been sent. But Muhammad also had a call. That he, you, you, are all, you, are all, you are studying, is it irony or what? Irony. Yes, that, yes, yes. So Muhammad had a call and had a revelation, and he is having the largest followers today. Now, Madam ABC, you don't know what you are going to be tomorrow. Maybe you also live a life that should have impact on later generations. You understand? So you are unique in your own lifestyle. Don't let anybody eh, distract you. You are unique. If somebody is trying to play down on you, that oh, that girl will call on your girl, your girl. Please tell the person that I am somebody. I am somebody. Because you don't know who I'm going to be in the future. Have yourself. <laughs> then we have stages in life. Stages in life. There are stages in life. Now, at every stage in life, you have to take a decision. At every stage in life. We have about six stages. When you read the book, you will know. But we have what we call supervisory stage. This is what you are, you are in now. You have been to school. Somebody is guiding you. Somebody is supervising you. We have decision making stage. When you get to, uh, you are about to enter into university, you have to take a decision. What am I going to do? Am I going to be a doctor? Am I going to be a musician? Am I going to be a fashion designer? Am I going to be this or that? You understand? Now, when you get to that stage and you take the wrong decision, it will affect you for the rest of your life. Now, some people are in the university. Doing dodology. No dodology. Yes. What they learn how to pray drums and other things. But they're supposed to be doctors or they're supposed to be fashion designers, but because they don't do the, they don't make the right decision that's affected them. You understand? So in the book it will tell you how to take the right decision at the right time. You understand? So instead the stages in life tells you 
a, a decision that you have to take at every stage of your life. If you have a station stage, when you are going to die, you have a headman stage, rather than take decisions, you, you will read about that. Then we have other things in the book, like the meaning of life. We have how to apply uh, ladder. When you say ladder, eh? the word ladder has meaning in life. The L look for, means look. The L, the L stands for L. Eh? The L means what? The second uh, word is what? Eh? Oh. Oh, oh, I don't know how to spell that. Come and spell that on, on, the, on the board. Come and spell that on the board. Sorry, we, we do that one and we end that, that one, that side. Okay. Mm -hmm. So ladder, eh? The first one means what? Blue. The second one uh, the, is a uh, eh? is what? Eh? Mm -hmm. You what? And the third one means So, make sure you save. Make sure. Make sure you save. Then define. Some people have a problem. Maybe if you have a problem with, with maybe social studies, eh? you have a problem. And you don't tell somebody about it. The problem will be with you forever. If you have a problem in social studies, please, I can see, I have to say, I the The person will do what? So that you become 
conversant there. Go. Like, uh, the book would, I, I don't want to go into two or two other things. Then we have what must be avoided in life. What the two categories of life include. Now, in computer we study something called garbage in garbage out. Now, when you impose bad things in your life, you reproduce what? Bad yes, that is it. Then I've given some words of your behavior, the way you behave. So that when we, in 10 years' time, when you are at the university, when you are working, you will remember that, oh, when I was in JSS 1, JSS 2, JSS 3, I read a certain book that tells me that I shouldn't do this and I shouldn't do what? That. So let me do the right thing so that the country will what? The country will do what? Develop. And when the country develops, what will happen to us? Our standard of living will what? We improve and everything will be well with us. But let me tell you something before I, I end it. You have what you call the God factor. Say God factor. God. Now, in everything, in everything, there should be some, somebody backing you spiritually. So whether you are a Muslim, whether you are a Christian, whether you are a Buddhist, whatever you are. Now, I don't know where you belong, but be strong in your faith. Say, be strong in your faith. Be strong in your faith. Now, some people are witches. <laughs> so whatever they do, they use their witch to what? To, to back it. But I don't want you to be witch. I want you to use, either, either you're Muslim, Christian, whatever. I want you, I'm not here to preach about Christ or Muslim, but you have different religions all around. So, what I'm telling you is that there should be somebody to back you spiritually. You should, if you, you are prayerful, eh? if you are Muslim, you should do your prayers well. If you are Christian, you should what? Worship God what? well. Because we are all expecting that when we die, we should go to where? So no, we are not only preaching that Ghana should be well, but at the end of the day, you should go to where? Good. So I'll end here and do the presentation to the school. Please. A master should come so I will do the presentation. Please. You know, someone has a question. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, ask, ask us. It's about a second. Yes. Uh -huh. To be the student. Mm -hmm. So that when you grow up, you know, the situations in the country. But in Ghana, in Ghana here, we have people who are illiterate. Mm -hmm. We can read and write, but they can read and write. Yes. So maybe they have the knowledge of how to improve the country, but they can't get this book to read. What are you going to do to also make them impact their knowledge in Ghana? Good. Clap for her. She's very, very brilliant. Very, very brilliant. I love that person. In, in the book, very good to train the girl child. Eh? She is going to be a mother. So she is thinking about the larger society. That's why people are all saying that you should train the girl child. Let's say girl, you are a girl child. Eh? Yes. yes. Now, she is thinking about those who are illiterate. Now, Ghana has about, about, let's say, how many percentage teachers can you help me? The literacy rate. How many? About how many percent? The, the, the literacy are about ten. The illiterate, illiterate, those haven't gone to school about seventy. Okay, literate ones are seventy. Oh, okay. 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 Who have not gone to school? So how are you going to help them? Come on to give us a suggestion. We are all interactive. We, we say we want to improve things in Ghana. And the lady is saying that we have about 30% of people who haven't gone to school. So who can help us? We are all interactive. It will come to television. So whatever you are contributing, it will come. Yeah. 
say thank you very much because it has been a pleasure being with us. It is nice for people to come here, teach us many things that will improve Ghana. And we say God bless you. And our prayer is that as you go, you'll be able to implement it in many other schools so that Ghana as a whole will develop. We say thank you. Maybe, maybe, you see, we have to say something about our sponsors because we, we, we go to television and tell them that we are doing the job, we are trying, that we should be good to So if I say boy, well, say good energy. Boy! Well. Good energy! Boy! Well. Good energy! But I want us to, what, I want us, I want you to also support us. So if I say good that, Let's start, start, let's start afresh. Kuda. Let's start afresh. Now what does it mean? When you say Kuda, what does it mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's the meaning of the organization. The, the, the acronyms of the, 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 the organization. So we have, we call it Center for Rapid Unification and Development of where? Africa. Eh? In short, it's called Kuda. Eh? In short, the organization name is called Kuda. So one more time before we go. Boy! Oh, good energy. Oh, oh. Boy! Good energy. Kuda. Let's start our friends. We are starting our friends. You are saying that there is nothing we are starting with you rather than that things will change. Give a clap of film for us. Let's do a little introduction. Let the world come and taste this beautiful. Well,